so hello everyone uh, on the normal channel again i have two channels and i always get confused about what i'm doing but i missed out on doing a november to be read last month because i spent the month actually trying to get some uh, books read that i'd had for a while and i was gonna unhaul the rest of them anyway because i weren't enjoying them enough to like keep them so i spent november literally getting through three books that i was gonna let go anyway that i read and that they're in the bag ready for the unhauling video um but this month because obviously it's december and it's christmassy i have a couple of christmas themed books i have one that i don't think it's Christmassy but once you see the cover it will kind of it feels Christmassy so I thought I'm going to include it anyway this month I'm going to be reading three books two of them I'm definitely going to review and the other one I'm probably just going to read and let go because I've had it for years and years and <laughs> sorry years and years never picked it up but I made a promise to my mum and she wanted me to read all of my books at least once before I made the decision to either keep them or let them go so yeah so this this month's just gonna have two reviews and then the book that I'll talk about which I'm not going to review because I'm not sure about um, I'm just gonna read it and then I'll just update Goodreads and be like however many stars um, there's one other book that I have that is for the Petal ASMR channel that we're currently uh, read them through so technically but they're not my copies anyway they're the library so they have to go back anyway but um, I wanted to include it in this video because it's two books in one and I should be able to yeah I should be able to um, include it anyway but the one I'm reading on my other channel is the Hello Kitty the Christmas present it's two books in one they are six chapters each. I generally can't remember the first book because it's in the phone on my notes and obviously I'm not in my notes right now. But one is about the Christmas tree. Um, I think something happened to the Christmas tree and Hello Kitty and her friends have to like come up with a reason. Sorry, I have to let the curl. Go on in. Yeah, so Hello Kitty and her friends have like different things that they do with each book and they have to like find a solution to it. Um, it's a really heartwarming read and the, if you want something really short that do have some pictures but that does have some like long chapters and this one's definitely for you. Um, I've read numerous other Hello Kitty books as well and I've got like a few more to read for next year but that's one of the books on my list. The next book is I'm going to start today and hopefully finish that by next week. So I can review it. This book came out this year and the cover is really Christmassy as well. It sounds like a really interesting read. It's a wire thriller, but it's You Better Watch Out, You Better Not Die. Um, and this is by Sarah, I can't pronounce the last name, so I'm just going to show you. <coughs> but the cover is really pretty. And the back says, every day in December, a gift is left for... Ellen? Such a weird name. In the abandoned tower block opposite her flat. At first, she can't help but be flattered, hoping that her secret Santa is something wrapped energetic or whatever ras able she has a history with but with each day that passes the gifts get darker and more dangerous is this a harmless bit of festive fun or does this have something to do with nina's disappearance last year if so will the uh, be next dark Maurice and Tulin, the countdown to christmas is an hour on and time is running out so this sounds like a ya fuller sounds like a person's disappearance and that she's got to figure it out um but yeah i kind of liked it because when i saw it in the independent like bookshop it was kind of like a present each day where they get more and more kind of um dangerous and not gifts anymore but so yeah and with each chapter they have like these little pictures 
so it's 375 pages so obviously i don't really know much which is why the to be read books are really really short because until i've read them then i don't really know but the covers are really pretty and i loved it and i posted this on instagram and i said how i can't wait to review it and complimented the cover because i do really like the cover and it is really pretty um it's simple it's basic but it's also it's got that Christmassy kind of feel to it as well so yeah the author did actually uh, like my post and hearted the comment that I left her so yeah I'm looking forward to reviewing this one it sounds really really interesting it sounds really dark uh, kind of messy but the most important thing it's Christmas themed so yeah I'm looking forward to that one so this one came out this year um, I think it came out literally a month or two ago it really wasn't that that long ago this one has been out for a solid 12 months I was meant to read this one last year but I didn't um, get around to it because when I went to I don't even think I did a December to be read last year but this came out in It's, it says 2021 on here, but I'm not sure if it's the right, right year. Um, okay, anyway, we'll go with it, but this one's not suitable for younger readers, apparently. But I, I love the, the inside of the um, jacket. Not jacket, but the inside of the... So this is by Juno Dawson, Stay Another Day. And again, it's another Christmassy read. I was meant to read this, I think, last year or the year before. And I just couldn't pick it up because I just never did my TV Red Pal. And yeah, but the cover is really pretty as well, though. So four sleeps till Christmas, three siblings, one big secret. I believe this is a YA book. Um, this author, Juno, did Clean, Meat Market and Wonderland. I read Clean, um, but I got halfway through and I really struggled with it because it was about drug addiction and rehab. Um, but it's just the character and it was very whiny and stuff and I really struggled to connect with the main character so I ended up stopped reading it. So this is the second book that I'm going to give a go by this author and I'm really hoping that this one I can stick to it, that I can get through it and review it. Um, I don't get paid for my reviews, I don't get sent free copies or anything, I do this 100% off my own back so I have books that I find that I want to review or that I think, yeah this sounds like a really interesting read and then I'll do it. Um, but no, I'm not sponsored or anything to say, so I'm saying 100% of the truth in all of my book reviews, and they are my honest thoughts and opinions, and it's very rare for a book to be that bad that I can't connect to it, that I then have to stop. Um, but it's just drug addiction and rehab and stuff. I know it's a serious issue and that, but I just couldn't get through it, because as I say, I just couldn't connect with that main character. Um... But anyway, but I'm hoping this one will be um, a lot better and obviously I will do my honest thoughts and review. I believe this one is over 300 pages, so we're looking at 330, no sorry, 336, so it's not, it's not too long. So the McAllister's house on the something road has seen 120 Christmases since its completion. This year, Fern is bringing her gorgeous boyfriend home and she wants everything to be perfect. But with her twin brother, Rowan, would rather go on the pool and then pull crackers with the family. And their youngest sister, Willow, is terrified of Christmas Day. With only four sleeps till Christmas, three secretive siblings, two hot house guests and one juicy secret, this Christmas there will be some big surprises under the tree. So it sounds more of like a... Um, young adult kind of drama 
kind of a book with a load of secrets so I'm looking forward to reading a bit more to find out what this stuff is I like that it hasn't revealed too much on the back because you can get some books where it reveals stuff on the back and I'm trying to think for the life of me what book did that recently um I read Awaken by PC Cast and Christian Cast or Christina Cast and that kind of didn't have too much drama and stuff in it that was pretty fast paced but there didn't, wasn't much that happened but there was also the Iron Knight in the series that I recently finished that series after having it for 10 years I think but yeah but that book said stuff on the back and that kind of ruined the story a little bit I don't know but um yeah so I'm looking forward to this one and then the last one keeping it sweet and short <laughs> this is a hardback I've had it for years um I'm trying to find out when it actually came out okay so this copy of this book came out in 2014 I have had this book since 2014 I believe it's the first edition and this is The Year I Met You by Cecilia Hahn so as you can see it does with the snow falling down and kind of the lights it does kind of give off that Christmassy vibe so I've chosen this one and in all honesty I don't think I'm going to keep this one because I have had it since 2014 and I've only just now picked it up and been like right I don't think I want to keep this one but I'm going to read it and then I'm going to let it go but um yeah I don't know what to do with all my books I don't know whether to donate them to charity I don't know whether to try and sell them um but yeah because I have some books that have like the Julie uh Caragra ones the Iron Knight, the Iron Queen have the original covers on them before they were redone. So I have some books that have like covers on them before they were redone and then the newer covers weren't that great. It's like the Throne of Glass series. I have the old covers before they then got redone. So yeah, I kind of don't know whether to sell them just because obviously there's going to be a bit more value and people are probably going to want them a bit more with older covers. But um so you have never acknowledged my existence nor have i yours but you are a circus act all of your own and i cannot help but be your audience jasmine loves two things her sister and her work and when her work is taken away she has no idea who she is matt loves two things his family and the booze without them he hits rock's bottom one new year's eve two people's paths collide both have time on their hands both are at crossroads but as the year unfolds through moonlight nights and southern days as unlikely an unlikely friendship starts to blossom sometimes you have to stop still in order to move on okay so this is not a YA book this is a adult um kind of read so yeah definitely not going to review this one because it doesn't sound that interesting but as I say, I promised my mum that I would read them uh, before I let them go, at least do that. So, yeah, that's kind of my December to be read. And then I will be back at the end of the month to talk about the books that I have read, um, my opinions on them, whether any of these are going to be kept or whether they're all going to go in the bag to go. But yeah any support would be very much appreciated again because it helps me to get the book channel and thank you very much <laughs>